Hello everyone, I have with me Murli Karthikeyan here who just finished the 6th round in the Qatar Open Masters. He faced Parham Maksudlu today. Uh, can you take us through today's game? Today was a complicated game in the Karakon. Uh, I actually <clears throat> took uh, like around 25 minutes for uh, Bishop E3 at the, after A4, A5 which was dubious because I initially saw Bishop E3 but uh, I was instead I was calculating some Knight C, Bishop H5, Knight H5, all this stuff, direct Knight C, E4. So, I, th I should just play Bishop P3. I lost uh, much time there. And uh, I think uh, Rook K3 was maybe a dubious move. Maybe after Queen before I should have played something else. But okay, it was not so easy to uh, you know go for uh, one direction. Maybe after Queen before I had some Bishop into H5 directly. But uh, it was quite complicated. And uh, in the game, I think he was winning when, uh, I, when he played a... Uh, Knight e7, uh, I think I played queen f3 first. Instead of knight f5, you should have. No, uh, I played queen f3. Uh, he played knight e7. Instead of knight e7, I think you should have played h2 check first, king h1, and then knight e7. The point is the same like in the game if I play bishop g5 check, knight f5, g4, there was rook s3. I saw this, but okay, yeah, both of us were in trouble, and he played knight e7 directly. And I got this bishop g5 check, knight f5, and king h2. Now the problem is he couldn't play king jade because of knight f5, queen d1, knight e7 check and uh, it's winning. So he had to play g6 and g4 and after g5 I was better but he defended well. I mean in the time pressure <coughs> when he played rook d g7 I was completely shocked because I was calculating the variation after bishop f6. If black plays rook d6 I had some queen g3. This, this was the main thing I was calculating. Queen g3, queen g4, and either it queen g4 and ed6 or direct ed6. So I was mainly looking at this, but when he played rook g7, it was this fantastic defense. And uh, I couldn't find anything, any win there. Because after rook g7, I was first calculating knight f5, e f5, and bishop g7, rook g7, queen f5 check, but then rook f7, and queen c, king e7 here. I was calculating queen b7 check, and queen d7, and queen d6, but okay i thought it's like uh, just equal portion here so i thought this end game uh, is winning but uh, it just it was a draw by one tempo so it was just a crazy game so i think there was a uh, rook sacrificing between the 26th move yeah so what do you have to say about that no actually it was just a blunder i think i should have just played king ah. directly instead of rook d4 i thought okay both, both of us were in time trouble so i thought it's a practical chance but i think it's not uh, correct uh, objectively i should have just play king directly instead of uh, rook d4 because i was afraid that if he plays c5 where this bishop gets uh, strong on d4 so i thought this is the only chance to you know discharge the queen from d5 and then go for some you know initiative maybe it's a practical try but objectively i think it should be lost there if he plays correctly but unfortunately in time pressure he didn't play correctly so i got a chance but he defended well so maybe i missed some win somewhere but uh, it was not obvious in yeah. time pressure yeah so how happy with you are you with your performance in this tournament okay not so satisfied and not so you know like uh, bad also so kind of in the middle just mm -hmm. still three more rounds to go so let's see what are your plans for the rest uh, rest of the rounds uh, i stopped you know like planning for the whole term i just want to uh, plan like for one round a day so either i don't want to you know like go into like I have to do this, this, all these things. I just want to go take one round a day and then, mm. you know, practice for that round and go and do the best in that so, round. Yeah. So what did you do on your rest day yesterday? I just went for a walk. I just cleaned my room, <laughs> you know, like after rest day, I just want to create a new atmosphere. So I just uh, within the room and there's some walking, that's it. Great. Thank you so much and all the very best for the rest of the Thank rounds. You.